Okay, so before we go back to the other question, we just tried to, to confirm this. Otherwise, I don't know what mistake I made. But I, I want just to show you how other values that you can get. Let's 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 do it quickly using MATLAB here. Okay, let's confirm the values. We see the convergence. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, sorry. What's going on? Are you seeing the screen for MATLAB? Hello. Yes. Okay, I'm just saying this. Uh, I'm not saying no, you're not getting matter, but just want to confirm if there's some values that uh, what value how we are converging. Okay, so have we got in the derivatives? Okay, so it's um our x naught given to us is what? What is our x naught, guys? Oh, uh, zero, right? Okay. Please let's mute our mics when we join. Please let us mute our mics when you're joining. Hmm. Please, you make sure that don't make mistakes when you're punching. Don't be in a hurry. Because I know that for X2, I made a mistake somewhere. So no wonder. Give me 1.4. I'm not satisfied with that value. Let's check together here. Okay. So our X naught is equal to uh, 0. So what we need to do here first. Okay. We need to substitute. Remember that we need to find F of X naught f prime of x naught and also f second derivative of x naught, isn't it? Those are values you need to find, right? So I'm going to call those values, I'll give them names. Okay, so k naught, k naught is going to represent what? f of x naught, okay? So I'm going to use k naught as a f of x naught, meaning the value that you get will substitute x naught in the function, right? So I'm going to call that value as k naught. So I want this to be a decimal number, of course. Okay, so I want to be a decimal number, so I'm going to use double. And then I'm, I'm going to substitute sub. So I'll substitute this guy in the what? In the function, which is what? Uh, my function was what? F, is it? Yes, my F, right? So first of all, substituting the F. Okay, X, and then what value am I substituting? X naught, isn't it? Okay, so let's see what we get. When you substituted x f x no, I mean x not in the function, obviously we got this value. Okay, I don't know, is this the same value that we got when you are doing the equations? It's only giving me about two decimal places, three uh, four, four decimal places. So my x not value is equal to this. I don't know who's was there anyone who's writing? F of x not, is this what you got? Hello, are you people there? Oh, yes. It looks familiar. Yes, like we, we got, got that. Okay, we got this, right? Okay. So, again, I need to find F prime of X naught. So, I'm going to call F prime of X naught. I'm going to give it a name as K1, okay? I'll give it a name. This is a variable that I'm going to assign to that as K1, right? So, that K1, again, I need to do, I want it to be the, to be what? To be decimals. So, I'm just going to name it double, okay? That's how we convert in a number to decimals, right? Double and then substituting in the function. One function we're using now is f prime, okay? Because I'm getting f prime of x naught. So in the function f prime, okay? So f prime, comma, uh, respect to x, and then what value am I substituting x naught? So I'm putting x naught there, okay? So, oh, this function is the one, right? So we got negative one, isn't it? Right? This one here, K naught was what? E minus one over E, check that. That one I even left out, I didn't even substitute for you. That E minus one over E, I'm sure that is this value, isn't it? And then when you substitute yes. the second derivative, we got negative one, right? Okay. And then also let us see, find it. K2. So K2, I'm calling it when I substitute the second derivative. So I'll call it K2. Okay. So that K2 again will be equal to double of our sub. So I'm substituting this guy in the function, which is what? Second derivative, which is F prime 2. 
okay? So I'm substituting this in the function second derivative. We call this f prime two, okay? And then comma x, comma x naught, of course, because I'm substituting x naught there. Okay, so this is it. K2 is what? 0 0.3679. And this is one over E. Remember that we found one over E? If you divide that one over E, you should get something like this. You can confirm that. Now let us find X1. So X1 is equal to, remember that X1 is simply X0 times C. Okay, first derivative times F of X0, whatever. Those are, I already gave them the names, right? So it's X0, okay? So X0 minus on top, is f of x1 or f of x0 and I gave the name of f of x0 as what? k0, right? I gave it the name as k0 and then time we see f of x1, f of x1 I gave the name as what? k1, isn't it? So I'm going to multiply that guy by k1, okay? And then divide by, okay? Oh, this is f prime of x0, right? k1, that's f prime of x0. So I have to divide by f prime of x naught squared, right? So k1 squared, okay, and then minus the product of what? f of x naught and the, the second derivative, okay? So this one, see, second derivative, right? So this is it, uh, k naught times k2, okay? We're done like that. So enter. So this is a first value of x1. Is this the same first value that we got? Hello? Hey, are you people there? It's the one. It's the one we got, right? Okay, that's the value of k1. Now let's get x2. So again, we'll repeat the process. So I'm going to call now, okay. So x2, remember that x2 be what? x1 minus f of x1 times f prime of x1 on top there, divide by that. So again, I'm going to call them new names, right? Okay, so I'm going to say, okay, um, I'm going to continue as what? k3. So k3 now be what? f of x1, that I'll call it my k3. Okay, so f of x1, I'll call it my k3. So I, of course, I want it to be a decimal. Okay, and then, of course, I want it to be double, I mean decimal, and then I'm going to substitute. Okay, what am I substituting now this time around? In the function is what? What function is that? F, okay. And then what am I substituting this time around? X1, right, I'm substituting X1. Okay, so this is a substitution that I've made here. Okay, so if I do that, oh, there's, uh, what have I left out? Okay, oh, the point, I put a point here instead of comma, sorry. So K3 is equal to uh, double sub, okay. F in the function F, okay, X comma X1. So this is not part of our discussion. I'm just trying to confirm if the, uh, the value that we're getting, right? It's not part of a discussion, please. We're not reading my lab. So this is 0 0.028 something. I think we got something like this as the f of x1. So this is the f of x1. We got this value, something like that. You can check that, isn't it? And then f prime of x1, I'll call this as k4. So k4 is equal to double, okay? So I want it to be a decimal. So I'm using the command double and then Substituting this, okay, in what function now I'm using in the derivative, right? Which is f prime, okay? f prime, the first derivative. Okay, take to x, and I'm substituting this x1. Okay, so let's get that. Okay, so, so k4 was supposed to be negative, I don't know. This is why I missed it, the first derivative. Okay, it's negative that negative zero point something. I'm sure that's why I messed it up. And then I also need to find the, the substitution for this second derivative, I'll call it for K5. So the K5 will be equal to, again, double, oh, mistakes. 
and then sub okay and then i'm substituting this now the second derivative which is f prime two okay f prime two x comma of course i'm substituting x one in all these Okay, so this this one I got it correct, 1.5 something. So where I messed up was when finding f prime of x1. I think this is why I messed up. Okay, no wonder we got something different. Yes, this why I messed it up. Now let us find x2 now. So x2, I'm going to use what? K3, K4, and K5 to find x2. So x2 is equal to, so I'm calling this x2 now, it's x1 minus the product of what f of x1 which is i which i call it x3 uh, k3 and f prime of x1 which i call it what k4 so k3 times k4 uh divide by okay again in the denominator i need to have f prime of x1 squared and i call this k4 right so i need to have k4 squared K4 squared, so the power two minus, okay? And then here I need to have a product of what? K3, which is F of X1 and F prime or second derivative of X1. So it's K3 uh, times K5. Okay, so this will be my X2. So this is my, as you can see, this is 0 0.9927. So we're approaching one. So if we do one more iteration, you see that will be almost this, we'll get almost one, which is the, the zero that is the, that we want to find, isn't it? So let's do one more iteration. So what more iteration, I'll continue, I'll call now this K6, right? So K6 now do what? F prime of, uh, F of X2, I'm calling it K6, okay? So these variables, I'm naming them. So K6 is F of X2 this time around, okay? So I can even put a comment here. So I'll call this f of x2 in case people maybe okay. Oh sorry, 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 sorry. Oh oh I've forgotten that this is not anyway. I need to use uh, the script for me to use that. So I have to open your script. That's how this is going to work anyway. The problem, a mistake there. Let's just continue. So call this K6, as I said, okay? I can't start to paint that script again. So K6 is equal to, okay? So K6 is simply F of X2. So this is double, okay? The same process, we repeat it. Okay, double. Okay, so this is the, what is that? That is the, we are substituting this in the F, the function of F respect to x, and then this time around, I'm substituting x2, okay? So that is my k6, my, so my k6 is f of x2, okay? So, oh, what's that? Oh, double, double, yes, I've used the double, double, k6 instead of using subs, okay? Double, and then subs, I forgot to write sub, I'll double twice, okay? f, comma, x, comma x2 okay and this is now so this is my my f of x2 0, 0.00 something is reducing right and then in k7 that will be f of what f prime of x2 isn't it so again double okay uh, sub of o so this now i'm substituting the f prime right f prime okay x uh, comma i'm substituting x2 okay so this is what i'm getting as the f prime of x2 okay now also also let's get now k8 so k8 is presenting the substitution of second derivative right so double okay uh, subs okay and then it um in the f prime two, which is the second derivative now. F prime two, which is the second derivative, take to x, and then I'm substituting x two. 
Okay, so this is my K8. I'm calling this as KH. So I'm getting 1.9781. Now I can find X3 since I have everything. So our X3 now will be equal to. So my X3 will be equal to X2. Okay, minus. In the numerator, we are going to have what? F of X2, which is K6. I called it a K6. And the F prime of K2, which is K7. So it's a product of those two. So K6 uh, times K7. Okay, and then divide by. In the remainder, I need to have F prime of X2 squared, which is K7, isn't it? So I need to square this guy. Okay, so I'll call, I'll say this K7 squared. Okay, and then minus, okay, F of X2 times F second derivative of X2. So K6 times K8. Okay, so let's see what you get. So you see, we're getting exactly one. Okay, so I've converged now just by doing three iterations. Are we together? together. Yes. So yes. you just have to just have to do th three iterations, then you'll be able to find that value. Okay, just three iterations. So we made a mistake there uh, when we are using that. That. Okay. So that that's it for this for question number two. So just do a three iterations, see that you are able to get that one. You've converged the value. So let me just uh, clear this. Let's go back now to solving manually. We look at the last question. iPhone has this. I have a question. Yes, please. I have a question. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I'd, I'd missed the previous question, uh, previous sessions. I was just asking um, tutorial sheets, um, even two. Yes, I'm just asking what, what he's saying that to, to two decimal places and he's putting significant figures. Uh, I, I'm a bit lost. Is there a recording that you made explaining that? Yes, all the videos are on YouTube. I post it on YouTube. All recordings I usually post them on YouTube. So I'll share the link to the videos. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Sure. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so let's look at question number C now. Okay. <laughs> So question number C, we follow the same procedure. Okay, so we have f of x equal to x minus pi over two squared. Are you able to see the screen now, but other than MATLAB? Yes. Okay, all right, thank you. So of course we need to find the first derivative as well as the second derivative, right? So let's get the first derivative first. So just like I said, I say, okay, I Found the first derivative for this one, right? But then we can do it again. This will be my u, or this will be my v, right? Okay. And I showed you that my u prime. So my u prime, the derivative of this guy by using chain rule, remember that is 2. Okay. Drop the power x minus pi over 2. Multiply by the derivative of what you have inside, right? So what's the derivative of what you have inside? Just be 1. So no wonder I just have to write this, right? And then also, the derivative of the other function. I'm using product rule, of course, and I showed you this guy simply negative cosec squared x. Okay, I showed you how to do that, right? All right. So now, by you know that f prime of x now would be equal to u prime v plus v prime u, or the other way around, it doesn't matter the order. Okay, so our u prime is the two x minus pi over 2 times v. Okay, so what is our v? Our v is this guy which is called x minus 1. And then v prime is negative this guy, so we're going to have a negative cosec squared x. Okay, and then time we see u. Our u is simply x minus pi over 2 squared. So that's our first derivative, right? Okay. So that is our first derivative. And we have to get the third, uh, the second derivative. Okay. And we repeat the process. Now this time around will be, we have two parts. 
okay both of them need product rule so this one okay of course i'll call this u i'll call this v this side i can change this i can use different names right i can call this m i can call this n right <laughs> okay i'm just trying to use different names because both of them require product rule okay so what is our u prime so you see that our u prime for this one will just be equal to two okay if you want you can just expand 2x times that differentiate that you're just going to end up with two okay our v prime still remains in negative cosec squared x for this guy isn't it okay now here what is our m prime what's the derivative of cosec squared x okay so we need to find out so what is the derivative of cosec squared x okay so cosec squared x cosec squared x is simply equal to what one over sine is squared x right okay now if you differentiate this guy okay with respect to x okay so from here you have to i want you to memorize the derivative of cosec squared x but you have to know how to get it in case you forget so i'm going to use uh course quotient rule meaning that i'm going to get the derivative of the top function the top function is simply equal to one right so what's the derivative of one is simply zero time we see the bottom guy which is sine squared x minus now i need to function sine squared x what's the derivative of sine squared x okay the derivative of sine squared x you can add this as what sine x and then squared the same thing so you differentiate the same way of getting the derivative with the other ones you drop the power which is two and then you hold what you have inside here which is sine x subtracting one from the power just be one and then multiply by the derivative of what you have inside here which is what cos x right so you see that the derivative of sine squared x simply two sin x cos x okay that is sine squared x so that's what you can substitute here two sine x cos x okay and then divide by this guy squared so i'm going to square this guy again this will be sine x squared or sine squared x sine x squared the same thing or sine squared x okay it's the same thing now let us simplify this right further. So from here, memorize the derivative of cos x squared. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't have to show it always. If you can memorize it, then memorize it. So zero times this, that's zero. Minus this is two sine x cosine x divided by. Oh, remember this this was sine squared right to sine squared x right so you are squaring again so this sine to power four because remember it was sine squared and then you are trying to square it again you are trying to square it again that is sine x to power four isn't it okay so it means that you have sine or sine x times sine cubed x let's see or oh, sine squared x times sine x Okay, there's a reason I want to write this. Remember the sign to power four, so I can write it like that. So this sign and this sign go. Okay. And you see that cosine over sine. What is that identity? It's that's cotangent, isn't it? So we have negative two. This cosine over sine give you cotangent or cot x. And then you're remaining with sine squared here. You have one over sine squared x. What is one over sine squared x right now, this time around? Okay, you see that this is cosec squared x. So this is cosec squared x. So you can tell that the derivative of what? Of uh, cosec squared x. This is equal to, okay, this is negative two cot x cosec squared x. This means that if you integrate this guy, you're getting what? Cosec squared x. It's just the opposite, isn't it? Okay, so that is the derivative of cosec squared x. So this guy the m prime so m prime will be equal to negative two quote cosec squared x so this is very important this course actually requires you to have the skill of differentiation of course okay because we're given complicated functions that you need to differentiate and the n prime the derivative of n is simply equal to what two x minus pi over two the power one right multiply by the derivative of what you have inside it just be one so this is n prime okay 
So now let's write the second derivative of this function all together. Okay. Let's write its second derivative. So meaning that okay, just f prime prime, of course, not just f prime. So f prime prime of x is equal to okay. Now this will be for this part in product which is u prime v plus v prime u, even here it be what? m prime n minus c or plus n prime m, right? It's the same thing with the other side, isn't it? So let's arrange them. So u prime is 2 times v. Okay, so our v is got x minus 1. And then v prime is negative cosec squared x. And then times u, our u is simply 2 times that. So I can put a 2 in front here. And then times x minus pi over 2. And then this side here, I said it's m prime times that. So what is m prime is negative 2, cot, whatever here. And I'm going to bring again, there's a negative here. Okay, so that negative way and this negative will be positive, right? So this will be 2, okay? 2 cot cosec squared x, okay, and then times n. What is our n? Our n is x minus pi over 2. It's quite complicated derivative, right? Okay, and then plus, okay, remember this negative is distributing everything that you're going to have, right? So this negative has to come also, okay, to the other term I'm going to put. That's it's going to have effect. So this is negative to be minus here to x minus pi over 2, okay, which is n prime times m, our m, what was our m? Our m was simply equal to cosec squared x. So this is the second derivative of a given function, okay? This is our second derivative now. Ah. Very, very difficult, right? <laughs> Very complicated, isn't it? And then we know that our x naught given to us is what? What is our x naught? Our x naught is pi over 6, I think, from the question. Again, pi over 6 was our x naught. Yes. So we have to find f of x naught. f of x naught. Which is f of pi over 6. And this is equal to what? So we substitute first in this guy in the function itself, right? So pi over 6 minus pi over 2 squared. So I'm substituting this in the original function. And then got pi over 6 minus 1. So I don't know what you get there. Okay, are you getting something? What are you getting from there? When you substitute those guide values, hey people, you have been punched. Is there anyone who is trying to punch that? Remember, I'm the, trying our, our, to punch. Remember what we agreed last time. We have to be fast, right? Okay. We have to be fast. We want to avoid gaps. Okay. So make sure you get as radians because this time around you're dealing with an a trigonometric function. Yeah, so you get must be radians. So cot, cot is some of you already calculators have cotangent. Okay. Um, mine here on the phone I have to place alpha though. I don't know about you. To bring cotangent. So I'm getting zero point eight zero two. Seven eight three five four one three six. So this is what I'm getting as f of x naught. Also, you can also get f prime of x naught, which is f prime of pi over six as well. Okay, so what is f prime? F prime we found what as f prime. 
but this is f prime a okay what i write a second derivative so this is our f prime as 2 okay so 2 pi over 6 minus pi over 2 okay and then cot pi over 2 minus 1 minus cosec okay pi over 2 squared okay because this is cosec squared or pi over 8 why am i writing pi over 2 where is pi over 2 coming from lemma this is 6 pi over 6 and pi over 2 okay squared this guy is squared okay and then open bracket pi over 6 minus eh? pi over 2 squared okay so you can also get what this value is here okay so i don't think you can be given such a question anyway just in case let's practice it okay because be given such a question an exam or in a test how many minutes can you spend <laughs> Uh, how many minutes can you spend on this? Almost 30 minutes. <laughs> you see, so but maybe the first like the first two questions, the first two questions you can actually answer them like in just 15 minutes or so. I think or, 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 or a few more minutes and that maybe about even 10 minutes, the first two questions. Those are not very difficult, I think. On that T. Achilles. Because we saw we made a mistake there. We have to use MATLAB for, for it to give us a correct, for us to get a correct value. Are you there? Anyone who was managed to find something? Okay, myself, I'm getting about negative five point nine. One nine six nine four four seven one. So we have about five minutes left, or four minutes in fact, and we have to do the same thing now in the second derivative. Now look at the second derivative, how complicated it is. <laughs> okay, so again the second derivative f prime prime of x naught is f prime prime of what? Uh, pi over 6, this is equal to cot pi over 6 minus 1 minus 2 cosec pi over 6, this is cosec squared, and then pi over 6 minus pi over 2 plus 2 cot pi over 2 cosec pi over 2 squared, oh no, okay, and then pi, uh, pi over 6 minus pi over 2 squared, still there's a minus there, 2 uh, pi over 6, pi over 2, okay, and then cosec pi over 6. And then this has to be squared. So this one, I don't know what you get there. Okay, so let's let's come back. I'm going to, what I need to do just to show you what values you need to get as you are doing the practice. So we're going to use MATLAB, we do it quickly. Okay, so, but you continue the same process. Okay, so you get X, all these values. So you're going to get X1 after you get all these values. So X1 be good what? X naught minus F of X naught uh, f prime of x naught, okay, f prime of x naught divided by 
f prime of x naught squared, right, isn't it? x naught squared minus f of x naught, f second derivative of x naught. Okay, so you, this, you, need, you have found already, f prime of x naught you found already, what is the meaning is second derivative of x naught, this is the value that you need to punch here and find its value. Very, very tedious, right? So let's come back, so we can just confirm what values need to have we need, as we are doing the practice in case, okay? So uh, the time is up, let's just join just for 10 minutes. We do it quickly. Okay, so let's uh, quickly write a program here. We we see how fast and so for us. Ah. So we start, so every time we are doing the derivative, Okay, so we have to write this command here, S, Y, M, S, okay. If you are differentiating with respect to X, indicate that, okay. So derivative and integration is going to, you're going to use that command there before you start. And then you can add your function. So our function F is equal to, um, what was our function? Open bracket, X minus, pi over two, so pi in MATLAB is just p, small to p times, uh, small to p and i, okay. And then multiply this guy by uh, cotangent of x, okay. So cotangent of x minus one. Okay, so that is a function given to us. And then I have to find the derivative of this guy, right? So I'll write this as f prime. Okay, you can just give it any name if you want, but I'm going to give it as f prime. Okay, so f prime is equal to, so this is a command that differentiate your function, diff, okay, diff, which function I'm differentiating is a function f with respect to x, okay? So this one now, now is going to give you the derivative of the function, okay? So this is the first derivative of that guy, okay? So this is the first derivative of the function. Though it, not be, it may not be the same as the one that we found, okay? It may just be different. You know, the derivatives can be found in different ways. If you do the lot of simplification and all that, okay? So this is what MATLAB is giving us. And also I'll need to find the second derivative of that. So I'll call this f prime two. That's my name, I, I'm just calling it like that. You can call it whatever name you want to use it as second derivative, okay? And again, I have to differentiate what? Which I'm differentiating this time around, I'm differentiating what? f prime. So I'm fine, trying to differentiate f prime, that's its derivative. Okay, and then with respect to x, Okay, so let me just differentiate this guy here with respect to x. So this is what I'm getting as a second derivative. Okay, so this is my second derivative now, according to MATLAB, okay? Now we start the substitution. So I've given x naught. So let's write our x naught first, okay? So our x naught is given to us as what? Pi over six, okay? So our x naught is simply pi over six. So I'll keep it there. Now, <clears throat> Remember that I need to find f of x naught, f prime of x naught, and d, the second derivative of x naught, right? So I'm going to call those names, right? So f of x naught, I'll call it, which, now, which one should I use now? Oh, I can even call it, uh, k, I'm going to use the same k, k naught, I'm going, I'm going to call it k naught. So this k naught is going to represent what? f of x naught, okay? So uh, I think uh, this is what to use. K naught, so f of x naught, right? So I'm going to use this as f of, I'm going to use this, okay, as f of x naught. So this, the command, I mean, the, if you want to comment something in MATLAB, right, you use a percentage symbol. So that's a comment to be ignored by MATLAB, right? Okay, I made a mistake there when I, when I use those backslash, I thought that I was doing C++. <laughs> okay, so this is it. So it means I'm calculating f of x naught. So my f of x naught is simply, I'm calling it k naught. So k naught is equal to 
I'm going, I need, I want it to be decimal. So I'll say double. Okay. So sub, the command sub help you to substitute something in a function. So in what function I'm going to substitute? Okay. I'm substituting the function f with respect to x. And what am I substituting? x naught. I'm substituting x naught that function. Okay. So this is going to give me the value of f of x naught. So if I punch, oh, what's that? Calling a function of x Use parenthesis. Ah, I just use one parenthesis. Okay, so it has corrected for me. I was supposed to close again with another parenthesis here. Look, open, open. I need to have another closing here. Yeah, so it corrected for me. So this is what I have. Okay, so this is my f of x naught. And what did you get there? <laughs> Come on, is this what we got? I doubt. <laughs> okay. Because too much errors when you're punching and teaching and all that. So I doubt if this is what we got. Anyway, let's see. And then K1, K1 will be F prime of X naught. I'll call it K1. Okay, so F prime of X naught, I'll call it K1. And this is equal to, so let's see. Okay, and of course this one also, the same thing, double. Okay, so in fact, let me comment it. It means that eh, I'm calculating it. Uh, I'm trying to calculate f of f prime of x naught. So this is f prime, I can write like that, of x naught. So this is what I'm trying to calculate here, right? Okay, so let's now, I'm going to call it k1. So k1 is equal to, and of course, the same procedure, double, okay. In fact, let me just do this. Let me just copy this. I will just be substituting it. Um, control copy. So I'll just be substituting it there, right? Control V. So here it means I need to use F prime. Okay, F prime. Okay, of course I need to close the bracket C. So I'm using F prime now, right? For me to find K1. Okay, okay, so I press enter, this K1 I'm getting <laughs> as the F prime of X naught. Okay, let's get now F prime prime of X naught. So this is my second derivative, F prime prime of X naught. Okay, this is what I'm getting, uh, we are calculating now. Okay, so this one again, I'll call this K2. So K2 is equal to, let me just, Copy this command. So this will be f prime of two. F prime of two. And then of course I need to put another parenthesis here. Right? So let's okay that that is k2. Okay, as negative 2.5109. Now let us find x1. So what is our x1? So my x1, therefore, will be equal to, okay, x0, right, minus the product of f of x0, which is k0, times f prime of x0. So k0 times k1, right, divide by, okay, k1 squared, Minus, okay, k naught times we'll the second derivative, which is f prime prime of x naught, which is k2. Okay, so let's see what we get there as x1. So this is our x1. Okay, so this is our x1. That's our x1 that we get. Remember that we are trying to find what? Pi over 4, right? Pi over 4 is our 0. For that function and what is pi over four? If you put in decimals, what is pi over four? So let us find uh, uh, x two. Let's see if that is the case. Let's see. So again, we're going to now find the f of o. f of what? Let me just put a comment. This is f of x1 now, right? f of x1, right? 
So f of x1 again will be, I'll call it what? K, I'll call it k3 now, just continue counting. k3 will be equal to k double, okay, sub of, in fact, why didn't I just copy the same thing? Copy, so control V, k double subs of f, so this should be, should be x1. Okay, yeah, because I'm using x one now this time around. So this is what I'm getting as k3. Okay, and also I need to find the f prime of x naught. Okay, so this one I'll call it k4. So k4 will be equal to, I'll just copy and paste the same command. Substituting x1, and this will be f prime. We're using now f prime, remember? So this will be f prime. Okay, so let's see. So that's what I got, we get as the k4. Let's look at k5, which is f prime prime of x naught. Of x, uh, not not x naught, x one. I'm using x naught. This should be x one here. Okay, on this that should be x one. Okay, then it's x naught. So this is our code k k five. So k five is equal to what? So this is equal to the same command, but here now I'm using f prime two. The second derivative. And then here I'm using x1. So this is what I have as k5. Okay, so next, what do I need to have? The next thing I need to have now is simply what? I just need to have to get x2. So x2 to go to x1. Minus C. Okay, f of x naught, or f of x one is k3. k3 times k4, which is f prime of x naught, over uh, k4 squared minus what? K, k3 times k5. I'm getting 1.0058. Okay, I'm getting 1.0058. Remember that we have to be approaching what? What are we trying to approach? We're approaching uh, that guy. Right? Five over four. Five over four, isn't it? Okay, so this guy has to reduce. Has to be reducing. Okay. Let's, let's go there. Let's see if we're doing the right thing. Okay, this guy has to be reducing. Let's see. Um, what's the next thing I'm get? We are getting now. Okay, so f prime of x, f of x two, right? Of oh, f of x two, isn't it? Right. So we're done this iteration. So let's get f of x two. I understand you. Fine. So this is f of x two. I'll call it k. What again? I call it, call it k six. Okay. So I'll repeat the same command. I'm using f this time around. I'm using x2. Okay. Yeah, and then closing here, of course. So, what the value I'm getting? I'm getting that at k6. And then next, I need to find f prime. So, I'm commenting this as f prime of what? x2. Okay. So this will be my k7. So my k7 will be equal to, I'll do the same command. So I'm using now f prime. Of course, using x2 here. Okay. So this is my k7. This is my f prime of x2 in short. That's my point, my k7. 
Next, K8. So K8 is simply, uh, this is the, my second derivative, right, at X, at X2. Okay, so I'm calling, this is it, I'm calling it K8. And K8 is equal to, okay, so this is what? This is the, of course, the same command, I repeat it. And then F prime two. Okay, and then of course, I'm using X2. So from this, we can calculate. So it's our K8. From this, now let's find X3. Okay, so I have a quotation to do, right? So X3 is simply X2 minus the product of now F of X2, and our F of X2 is simply what? We're calling it this as K6. So K6 times F prime of X2, this is the K7, uh, divided by, okay, F prime of X2 squared is K7 squared, okay, minus it. Okay, f of x2, which is k6 times c, k8, right? So k6 times c, the second derivative is k8. Okay, so what is my x3? So you see this value keeps on reducing, isn't it? So obviously we're approaching that pi over 4, isn't it? So 0 0.9184, okay? 0 0.9184, this value keeps on reducing. Okay, let's do two more iterations, shall we? Because eh, as you're practicing, you should be confirming those values. Yes. So, someone is taking note of those values. X1, X2, X3. Are you? No. No, you should be writing these values, X1, X4, on. You guys should, be, should practice that question in case it comes. So you need to verify those values eh, are the ones you'll be getting. Right? So x1 is that, right? Let me write, hold on. So what are you doing then? <laughs> watching you. You're just watching me. Okay, so this is our x1. Um, mm -hmm. Our x2 is this guy here, 0 0.1.0058. Uh, and then our mm -hmm. is X3, we're getting what? 0 0.91 something. This is what I'm doing. Yeah, written in the 